Okay, now you're going to start with your eyes always because your eyes determine where everything else on your face is located. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna mark the space between my two eyes where I'm kind of guessing how wide my eyes are far apart from each other on equally on both sides of this middle line. I'm gonna use my pencil as a measuring tool with my thumbnail and the tip of my pencil on that mark. And if I move my fingernail over to that, if that's pretty much the middle of the space, then I will be creating five equal spaces across my head. So you can double check that when you make those marks in the middle. If it ends up being pretty much the same space all the way across, then that's exactly what you wanted to go for. So we have one, two, three, four, five spaces across your face in between. Now what's very important is these marks on this center line is going to be exactly where the two sides of your eyelids are going to come to a point. So it's very careful that you start on that line right at those dots and then create a nice pointy curve, downward curve for your upper eyelids. So start with a little angled line between those marks and then round it over to be the height of your eye. Same thing at the bottom, right at that point, make a little V shape and then round between that V shape to make what should look like a football or an almond shape eye. Now, if you're doing an expression and you're using your photograph that you took of your selfie in an expressive pose, um, if your eyes are more open, then you're going to have a taller eyelid. If your eyes are kind of getting a little closed from the expression that you're making, you're gonna make the eyelids closed a little bit more between those V shapes there. So you've gotta observe in your, this is a normal open eye. If your eyes are kind of shocked and they open up more, you've gotta adjust the shape of your football or almond from there. But regardless of what you do, the corners of your eyes are always going to be a sideways V, okay? They are never going to be a straight line and a circle or anything like that. Um, so then the next part of your eye that we're gonna draw is right in the middle. You're gonna draw your pupil, which is a black dot. And then the colored part of your eye is going to be where you don't see the top and the bottom in a normal position, a perfect circle that creates kind of a curved triangle where our V's kind of started. So that if you continued this circle above and below your eyelid, it would look like a perfectly round circle. You don't want these lines to be straight and you wanna leave about that much of the white part of your eye left behind. Okay, now the next step is above your, when you're looking straight on, what your eyes do is your upper lids are covering your eyeball to keep your eyes inside of your head. So what happens when your eyelids open up, they make a little wrinkle along your top edge of your eyelid as a skinny little parallel curve line right above your upper eyelid is the crease when your eyelids open where your eyelid kind of goes into your eye socket. And then the very last step of your eyes is to make your eyelashes. And what you're gonna do for your eyelashes is different than you normally think of. Your eyelashes are gonna start in the center and they're gonna be more sideways or horizontal than you think. 
going off to the outside corner of your eyes. And even guys, you have eyelashes too. So you got to at least make short little lines that start in the middle and are angled more horizontal than they are vertical that extend all the way to the outside corners of your eyes. And then just the opposite with short little eyelashes that are thinner and spaced further apart, moving towards the direction of those horizontal lines are kind of more um, horizontal than they are anything else to make your eyelashes for your eyes. So there are your eyes. Now using your eyes, we're going to move on to the next part of your face, which will be your nose.